Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Storytime at the White Squirrel Public Library. I'm Miss Laura, and today I have a very uncooperative Mortimer with me. Well, are you being shy? A little. Oh, there's no need to be shy, Mortimer. Uh, <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> They're really nice. Pro I promise. What? What? Uh, you want to introduce the book you picked out for us today, Mortimer? Um. Uh, it's a book about animals. Okay. And and I taught her a new song about dinosaurs because. I wish I had been a dinosaur. Look at my back. Wow, that's an impressive back, Mortimer. It's a shell. It is a shell. Anyway, enjoy the book. It's about animals and the song about a dinosaur. Do, do good. I will. Okay, we're going to put Mortimer back here. Mortimer's a turtle. He kind of moves slowly. I get him out every now and again, but anyway. He picked out our book today. The animals like to pick out the books, so they're usually involving animals or something to do with animals. This one is all about animals. And if you've ever had a pet, you know that sometimes they can be a little tricky. This book is about an animal strike at the zoo. It's true. Huh. That monkey, monkey does not look interested at all. Karma Wilson is our author, and she's going to tell us all about the animal strike at the zoo. You guys would never strike, would you? Don't try us. I think Bart's going to tumble. I'm going to move Bart down. He's he's not wanting to stay up. An animal strike at the zoo. No more peanuts. That's what the elephant was saying. Here's a penguin says, holding up a sign that says, That's it! Hmm. No, that's not, that's a platypus. I'm sorry, I got it all wrong. That's a platypus. Here's the penguin holding up a sign that says, we're through. There is an animal strike at the zoo. It's true, it's true. The headlines are telling it all. The animals quit. That's it, they say, we're through. Say all the critters from biggest to smallest. We're paid only in peanuts, the elephants shout. And goodness, we're bigger than that. They say they won't trumpet or lumber around anymore. They are just going to sit in the shade looking fat. That wasn't very nice to say, was it? But they are kind of big. And look. I think this is one of the smallest creatures that was getting that that strike going. Well, the monkeys, the monkeys won't monkey around anymore. We won't, I mean, you won't see us climbing again. We're through climbing up the trees. We're going to wallow around like big monkey lumps on the floor. I've never seen a monkey lump, but anyway, that's what they're going to do, and they want a pool in their, in their pen. Oh, that one's looking at something. Ooh, what is that? Looks like a leopard. What do leopards do? A wolf, the wolf, the wolf packs aren't going to howl anymore. And the tigers, what do tigers do? Uh, they're not going to be growling anymore. 
and the otters, they're not going to scowl. All they're going to do, I mean, is scowl. Look at their faces. They don't look happy. Egad, the worst has come. There's an animal strike at the zoo. The zebras are looking like horses now. They've painted their stripes. We're all sick and tired of eating this hay. Our good looks don't come free, you know. Look what they've done. Got a zebra head and a horse body. Got a horse body and zebra legs. They've painted their stripes in. Oh, and those silly giraffes. Look what they've done. They're not any better. You won't see our long, beautiful necks anymore, they say. We're knitting them ourselves scarves from our head down to our bodies. You won't see our necks anymore. And look, their hooves really are holding knitting needles. That's impressive. I can't even hold a knitting needle and I don't have hooves. Business these days at the zoo is real slow. It's slow as it can be. Folks aren't are going to the circus now. Nobody wants to pay money to see animals lying in bed. That platypus just lying in bed. Tiger? Actually, that's a lion. That's a lion just laying there. The lions aren't roaring. Eagles? What do they do? Roaring. The penguins? Well, the penguins are just flat out snoring. It's all rather boring. What's a zookeeper to do? It, there's, there's an animal strike at the zoo. He's really doing the best he can do. He gave the elephants a raise. He gave them pecans versus peanuts. That's nice. And he took their work day from eight down to six. So they're getting a raise and they're getting a shorter work day, not to mention pecans. The monkeys, the monkeys were given a kiddie pool and they were feeling, and, the, and he's feeding the zebra sweet oats. Ooh, yum. But the monkeys, no, uh -oh, look, this one looks cold. Ooh, the monkeys are complaining that the water is cold and the zebras, well, they want root beer floats. Come to think of it, I think I want a root beer float. Well, now, what are we going to do? In through the gates comes sweet Sue. Oh, she can't believe it. She's finally at the zoo. She's always wanted to go to the zoo. Oh, it's been just her dream, and here she is. And what are the animals doing? Nothing. The animals. The birds, they're not singing. Look, I think that's a toucan. Look how pretty that beak is. The lizards, they're not creeping. That's what lizards do. The bunnies, what do bunnies do? They leap. Well, the bunnies weren't leaping, and they weren't eating honeysuckle either. Poor sweet Sue. She started weeping. She started weeping, and her heart was broken because there was an animal strike at the zoo. I think I know why Bart, I mean, uh, Mortimer picked out this book. Look at that. Yep. That's a friend of yours, isn't it, Mortimer? Yep. That's why he picked out the book. Oh, tears started to flow down her eyes, her, flow, her rosy face. Animals just watched. They didn't know what to do. A deep hush fell over the animals as they all just watched little sweet Sue. All she wanted to do was go to the zoo, and the animals were just sitting there watching her. So a minute or two later, the animals went totally wild. Oh my gosh, the bunny started leaping, the birds started flying, tigers and lions were roaring, wolves were howling. Oh, it was wonderful, the roaring and peeping and howling and growling, all the craters, biggest to that small little mouse started soaring and laughing. Oh, Sue was so happy. Oh my goodness, she was so happy. And all the animals found out that day, you know, that they actually like what they do. And the zookeeper called the reporters and said, thank goodness there is no longer a strike at the zoo.
but mm -mm. the bear at the circus stopped peddling his trike. Oh no, he says he's on strike. Oink. Platypuses again, or maybe. I think those are beavers. Look, beavers swimming in the in the monkey's pond. Anyway, wow, an animal strike at the zoo. Okay. Now, this is a new song for us, and it involves patting. So if you can pat with me, all I'm doing is taking my hands and I'm patting them on my knees. And I'm going to do this song a little slowly because it's new for me. Thank you, Mortimer. Welcome. It's a new song, and let's see how we do with it. Okay, we got our padding going. Hungry dinosaur was walking down the street singing dino dee 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 dum dee dee do. Looking all around for something good to eat, singing dino dee 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 dum dee dee do. He's big, he's big, he's strong, he's strong. He won't be hungry very long, singing dino dee 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 dum dee dee do. Singing dino dee 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 dum dee dee do. What do you think? You want to try it again? A hungry dinosaur was walking down the street singing dino dee 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 dum dee dee do. Looking all around for something good to eat singing dino dee 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 dum dee dee do. He's big, he's big, he's strong, he's strong. He won't be hungry very long singing dino dee 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 dum dee dee do. Singing dino dee 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 dum dee dee do. Okay, thank you so much for joining us for story time. We will see you next week. I will have my buddies Mortimer, Bart, and Rags with us. So until that time, stay healthy and take care. And don't forget, washy, 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 washy your hands. Take, take care, be safe, and I'll see you next week.